gaming monitor that too for 9000 come on ash you got to be kidding me nope i'm not presenting the asus vp228h a gaming monitor with anti flicker and a 1 millisecond response time all under the price of 9000 rupees unbelievable right well let's take a close look hey guys my name is ash you're watching c4e tech and let's get started <laughs> If you do end up liking this video please hit that bell icon turn on notifications and as always here's a card to our latest giveaway check it out if you haven't yet So what makes a monitor gaming well it just seems to think that stuffing in a lot of software features is the answer and well I might admit that a couple of things like the on-screen crosshair and the timer mode do help out the rest of the features like a separate gaming display setting that just cranks up brightness and saturation aren't all that helpful Thankfully though pretty much every aspect of the display output is configurable which means that you can have this one set exactly to your preference although doing that might lead you into a maze of menus and options now you might think that Asus is trying to overcompensate for the display by shoving in a bucket load of software features but honestly this is one of the best panels that you can get especially for that price the resolution is 1920 by 1080 nothing fancy there but the panel itself despite being tn has pretty good viewing angles as well as peak brightness and if you are someone who uses your monitor for reading books or for marathon overnight gaming sessions you'd be happy that this display does get quite dim too and of course if you're going to binge on fortnite all night turn on that inbuilt blue light filter trust me your eyes will thank you anyway since we are on the subject of gaming and this is supposed to be a gaming monitor how good is the performance with gaming in one word pretty good okay that's two words But you get what I'm saying, right? I tried it out with a bunch of games, including Twitch shooters like CS:GO, and the responsiveness felt really nice. Even when panning around in a few other titles, the anti-flicker nature of the screen meant that overall gameplay felt responsive. And even though the refresh rate was 60 hertz, for 9K you can't really expect 144 or even 120 hertz. Uh, so for the money, I was very impressed. That's it. We did try to overclock the monitor, but it maxed out at 70 hertz, and even at that refresh rate, font started to glitch out and look kind of weird. So we gave up on that count and decided to enjoy the monitor as is. And enjoy we did because this 21.5 inch uh, monitor proved to be quite good for day-to-day -day browsing and even for the occasional movie watching session. Even the two included 1.5 watt stereo speakers sounded quite nice. With a high contrast ratio and a peak brightness of 250 nits, this monitor punches way above its price. Now that's not to say there aren't any cons. The monitor doesn't have any height or swivel adjustability though tilt is present. Uh the all-round plasticky build feels very cheap and the navigation UI well it's a mess. I mean, when was the last time you saw six physical buttons tucked away on the underside of a monitor? As happy as I am with this, Asus if you guys are listening, how about a tiny little joystick to control the menus instead of all these buttons and maybe just maybe a display port to go along with the already healthy set of inputs uh, HDMI, VGA and DVI. That said, even as it currently stands, I really like the value for money proposition that this one offers. And if any of you guys are looking for a cheap lightweight monitor under 9000, I'd say this one is a must buy even if you strip away all the gaming and gimmicky features like vivid pixel and splendid plus the hardware here is pretty solid and earns a solid recommendation from me but that's just what I feel now I'd like to know what you feel what do you think so leave a comment down below and tell us if this Asus gaming monitor is worth the money also if you are a PC enthusiast or you know someone who's looking to get a gaming monitor do share this video with them And that's about it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you think about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time. My name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.